Hi, my name is Frank O'Connor. I'm Franchise Development Director for Halo Series at 343 Industries at Microsoft. Halo 4 is going to have the absolute biggest additions to the Halo sandbox that we've ever put in a, an episode of the game. Uh, that means weapons, that means vehicles, that means abilities, uh, but also means enemies. Uh, typically in the past, we've tuned one or two of the Covenant species to provide extra challenge. This time we're adding an entirely new type of enemy to the, the Halo sandbox. And of course that enemy is going to come with weapons and other stuff. Uh, and it's a big secret, obviously, right now, but it's something that we're really excited about revealing a little bit more of uh, later this year. So the Covenant are back in Halo 4. Uh, they're not going to be necessarily your primary antagonist. They're going to be around a fair amount and they're not particularly pleased to see you. Uh, we'll reveal more about the story, more about the Covenant's fate, uh, but also how they tie in with the new bad guy that we've hinted at. Jeez. So the Master Chief is a man of few words and he's often defined by the, uh, the people around him, the characters who surround him and support him, and uh, the circumstances he finds himself in. We're definitely going to explore a little bit more about the Master Chief's persona this time, and we're going to do that not through him suddenly uh, becoming a speech-making orator. Uh, we're going to do that by more deeply exploring the characters uh, who surround the Chief, and we're going to be introducing a lot of new characters. So uh, he's going to have some new friends, definitely some new enemies, and a lot of really difficult circumstances to deal with that are going to tell us a lot about the Master Chief and the way he behaves and the way he lives as a human. The Master Chief is going to get to explore a number of environments, but the primary uh, location for Halo 4 is a, a world called Requiem. We won't say a lot about what's on the surface of Requiem, but it's definitely obvious from the outside that it appears to be Forerunner in origin, and we'll definitely tease out more of that story as the year goes on. Killing spree. There will definitely be other Spartans featured in the game, and in Halo 4, uh, Spartans uh, have been upgraded to Spartan 4 series. This game takes place uh, a few years after the events of Halo 3. The universe has moved on and so is the Spartan program, so the Chief's going to get to meet his, uh, ostensibly his replacements. And remember, all of these guys thought that the Chief was lost forever and presumed killed. Uh, so he's a hero to them and a hero to Earth. And there's going to be some really interesting interaction between the two different uh, generations of Spartan. Halo 4 launches on November 6th, which is election day, so make sure you get out and vote and then get over and buy your copy of Halo 4, which will be so much easier if you pre-order.